Uh, hi again, uh, Scott here uh, from Edge Math. Uh, I want to go through a problem on uh, the principle of inclusion and exclusion, uh, which is a second way to solve Venn diagram problems. Uh, we can just use Venn diagrams to do it. So for example, uh, say we have 500 people on a plane, and all of them eat meat, but only 200 like beef and 300 like chicken. Let's change that to 400. Um, so how many of them both like beef and or like both beef and chicken? So let's see. Let's try this with a Venn diagram. We've got beef and chicken, and the total is the total. That's the same as the union, that's 500. And let's see, B in total is uh, 200. C in total is 400. So, but if we add B and C together, it's gonna be 600 total on the inside. But there's only 500 on the inside, so that means we overcounted. Because uh, B and C, each of those will contain this uh, intersection here. Those will, B and C both contain that. So if we add B and then add C, we're going to be adding this intersection twice. So, so the principle of inclusion and exclusion says the union is the same as, or the number in the union is the same as the number in B plus the number in C, minus the number in the intersection. So because B and C both include the intersection, so adding B plus C, that will count the intersection twice. So, so we can calculate, let's see, the union is 500, B is 200, C is 400, so that's 600 minus, so it's going to be have to have to be, so this is, 500, 200, 400. So if we solve, this will end up being 100. We've got 100 in here. And B total is 200, so that means there's 100 here. And C total is 400, so 400 total, so that means 300 here. So we can double check. So we've got 500 people in total. All of them like meat. So either beef or chicken. Uh, 400 like chicken, and 200 like beef. So 100 like both. And so we can use we can use the Venn diagram to do that. But we can also just use uh, if we don't want to draw that, but we can get into the habit of using the principle of in inclusion and exclusion, which is that. The union is the same as the sum minus the intersection, if we're talking about the numbers involved. So, great, hope that makes sense. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and have a great day.